A year ago, we had a lot of fun talking with kids about dangerous goods. Now, those kids may not have known much about hazmat transport, but they understood that we DG professionals devote our careers to keeping people safe. But what about adults? How well do they understand the importance of the DG professional? Well, we're speaking with everyday people in downtown Chicago to see how much they know or how much they don't know about the dangerous goods that impact their lives every day. We're talking about dangerous goods. It's not even dangerous. It's, what? If I use the term hazmat, what do you think of when I say hazmat? Like radioactive. Yeah, you know, there you go. That, that the guys in the yellow suits that come in. Yeah. <sighs> kind of like Darth Vader in a way, right? Yeah. Maybe spoiled milk. Makeup? Could it makeup? Like it's like you eat your makeup. That, <laughs> that, that would. Be would... Bad. <laughs> Wow, okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the future of America. Name some possible dangerous goods, like actual guns. physical, guns, okay. Knives. Knives. Yeah. Like fertilizer. Fert oh, she, she used the F word, I like that. That's nicely done. Fertilizer. There you go, yeah. thank okay. you. Yeah. yeah, the F word again. <laughs> if you were going to go into your bathroom and find dental whitening strips, did you know those are actually hazardous? Really? Yeah. You know, I thought they worked pretty well. <laughs> It's a chemical, it's actually a peroxide in there, so a lot of people don't know that, that that could be a dangerous good as well. Yeah, hand sanitizer is like 95% alcohol or something like that, yeah. isn't it? I've got hand sanitizer in my bag. I would, I would check just to make sure. What I normally do is I just pick up dirt, I rub dirt on my hands. Ink toner could actually be a hazardous material. What percentage do you think globally are dangerous goods shipped? What percentage all across the planet? Um. Maybe 30? Give me 42%. a number. 42? 65%. Wow, you think that much? Yes. Actually, it's only 20%. <laughs> but you thought it was more? <laughs> well, it went big. Well, what made you think it was more? What? Well, you're telling me all these things that yeah. I never thought considered dangerous. Like mayonnaise. Like mayonnaise well, that's not really. Did you know alcoholic beverages are actually considered hazardous? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. What do you think that is? That is a damaged battery sticker. It, no, it's a label. <laughs> No, it's definitely a sticker. It's a label, not a sticker. Technically, it's a label because it's got an adhesive on it. There you go. Technically. Excellent. Oh, look, these are some of my favorite signs. Combustible, that's usually what happens on Taco Tuesday when I hit about my ninth chicken taco. Now, when you're traveling on the highway and you see like these trucks and they have these signs on there, do you know who does all that? They're called dangerous goods professionals. I did not know that. See? That's the dangerous goods professionals that actually make sure that you know what's dangerous and what's on there. But you do see the signs, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you know what they are. I'll try. Uh, <laughs> ah, You're okay. About to me, We're going to give you the, the, the <laughs> sign test. I'm going to show you a sign. Okay. And you tell me what you think is in the truck. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. If I don't respond well, you're not going to show me this, are you? No. Spontaneously combustible. That's when you actually eat the tacos and explode at the same time. What's in the truck? Nothing's in the truck. <laughs> Nine, nine things are in the truck. What does that mean? I don't know, but it looks like if you mess with it, it'll kill you. <laughs> no clue. A piano. <laughs> Not a clue. No clue. Pirates. Pirates. No, I'm sorry. The skull and crossbones makes me think of pirates, but. They are. <laughs> oh, is that, um, uh, what do you, you put in the walls again? The inhaling? I'm not going to tell you. Uh, um, what? Asbestos. asbestos. Yes. Well, they do as best as they can. <laughs> Radioactive, great, great group back in the 1980s, if I'm not mistaken. This number right here, what would that mean to you? It's a big piano. Why do they keep saying piano? I didn't know pianos were dangerous. No idea. If you had to guess, what would be in the truck? A jailbird. Oh. You need to do a better job on the sign here. I thought it was a jailbird. What's in the truck? Oh, flammableness. No, wait a minute. No, hold on. No, that would be. Oh, crap. Oh, hairspray. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. You know what really is flammable? You ever try setting Pam on fire? Pam? Yeah. All I'm thinking is C4, but I hope there's not a truck full of C4 out there somewhere. Ouch. <laughs> Do you know that there's people that actually are responsible for keeping us safe? You always need watchdogs in any situation. They do such important work, and we kind of take things for granted. These guys 
have to know every single page of this in order to keep us safe. The technical name shall be a recognized chemical or biological name. Portable tank requirements applicable to T codes T1 through T22. These regulations establish standards of safety which provide an acceptable level of control. It's not very clear either. It's, yeah, it's kind of yeah. tough. I'm really hoping they're smart guys. I need about 20 years to memorize that one book. Yeah, <laughs> these guys do it. We need them, don't we? Yes, sir. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for everything you've done and all the things that I haven't noticed until right now. Dangerous, Dangerous Goods Professionals, professionals rock. rock! The people of Chicago salute the Dangerous Goods Professionals who keep our economy moving and keep people safe by road, air, rail, or even sea. We at Label Master are proud to be by your side every day. Wow.